Emma has got a Fukian tea here. Um, it's a beautiful little tree and it's going to have to have major structural flaws to even touch it, I think, because it's so beautiful. Yeah. So let's have a look. You picked a front here. So the branching wise, I think this works better as the front of the tree, just in terms of kind of coming more towards you. Yes. Now, the only thing with this front view is the trunk line is going back. Yeah. Which is a bit of a disadvantage, but... Um, But I like it from this side too. Yeah, I, I would be, if it was me, I'd be more inclined to this view because yeah. everything's coming forward um, and not the front view here, but maybe to the side. side. If I can mark that, you can have a look at it. There's it there. Oh, okay. There's a little point here. That's probably where I would choose the front, just because everything. Oh, and then it just curves. Oops. Yep. Yeah, it's. I think the only disadvantage of this front is that it the, the trunk line's going away from you. It's, yeah, I and that actually gives it a really nice curve up. Yeah, it, it sort of. And I think this branch, like the, this part of the trunk comes up, and this branch has equal value because it's. It almost forms the crown equally. It yeah. makes it a little more symmetrical. Yeah. Now, is there a better view? Let's just keep looking here. Like here is also a nice view if you got rid of that one front branch there. You can see it comes up and then comes towards you. Is it? Yeah. Is it not a bad view? Just that one like poker branch would have to go. I still I still think I like this one better. Yeah, okay. yeah, it just it feels more solid with the branches stretching to the side, whereas here you don't have that same right. stability. It feels way more solid coming this way and like more grounded with this root. Yes. The way that it is. It is a good root spread from that yeah. view, isn't it? It's blows up it has this little wiggle in the trunk and yeah it's solid yeah whereas this view yeah it's a little smaller looking tree isn't it? it's, it's yeah I, I think well you have the experience in the eye for this so I see it instantly as soon as you showed it to me it was like much more solid yeah I, I'm I'm liking this view as the best. It's not the only view that can be the front, but it's certainly... I mean, there is this... With the existing branch structure, it's a good looking There is view. this one where it kind of curls, and then, but it, then it's coming back. Yeah, too much going away yeah. from you. Not enough coming, so it doesn't look as balanced front to rear. <clears throat> well, um... Well, there's not much to do to this tree. <laughs> Pick the front. <laughs> it, it, lots of stuff. Uh, the only thing I would say is that you're getting some of the branches getting a little tall here yeah. versus the rest. And not it's not that bad. Now, if you really analyze the structure, you can see maybe there's some branches going in across the, the canopy here. Would you, what would you do with this one? Because if this is the front, this is kind of coming forward and up. I like that as sort of the main trunk line of the tree. Okay. I don't think it, it's quite forward, but I don't think it's too far forward. Like I think, as long as you have balancing branches back here, it's, it's sort of a a broom style yeah. crown where everything comes out, fans outwards, and I, I think it's it follows the trunk line. Like it, it's it's a branch, but it's also and you can imagine this double the thickness. Well, it'll really flow nicely. Yeah. Like it, it, it maybe not double. Oh, it probably will someday. I mean.
they do go fairly fast. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you had this tree? What do you think? Five months? Since, yeah. Okay. In February, spring. spring. Okay. Not Late long. Winter. And where did it come from? It, tropical Express. Tropical Express, okay. Well, it's doing really well. Yeah, I would say, I think from the front view, there's something going on here that it's just, and I think it's these two branches, if you can see it up here, that you've got two branches growing back in. Yeah. And there's a branch, I think, underneath it. There's one that comes yeah. up here. And these are just like, you've got the branch trying to grow up here, and these two are kind yeah. of coming like this. So I, I think these two branches need to be removed because okay. they're just growing back in on the canopy. But I don't think we're going to be doing any major work to this tree because it's this a charm, be this, charming little tree. This is the smallest amount of cutting we're going to see it. Today. Well, Big, we're not we're not done yet. Tiny cuts. We're not done yet. <laughs> yeah, I'd already lost a branch there. Yeah. Does that look any different now, or? Yeah, no, that looks cleaner. It looks cleaner. You can start to see a bit of. Yeah. Yeah. And then I think we're getting a little tall here, so we have an opportunity to reduce this branch back to, to these two. a couple of leaves there. It's not much of a difference, but it's these subtle little, there's Don't a nice the flower on it there. Eh? Some of the berries are getting pretty big too. They are. They turn red, don't they? I don't think we've seen it. We've seen it flower. We haven't seen the berries actually. Okay. Well, yeah, that one you can see is going yellow. Yeah. I think they're red. Okay, so that helps, it, it certainly helps. Um, so I would say, you know, you can't really reduce this much lower because it's thick and well developed. So all you can do is slowly grow this out, try, mm -hmm. and, try and maintain the height of here and develop the rest to kind of fill the crown out a bit. Yeah, right now, it still needs something. It, it needs, needs something in the, in the middle. middle, yeah, it's kind of, it's not a dome canopy, which no. you look at 99% of trees in nature and it's a more of a rounded canopy. But um, So I would say that's your goal. Um, we could maybe reduce this down a little bit here, but I don't know. Um, be Thank nice you. to defoliate it to see the structure, but we're not going to do that. <laughs> do you get rid of it because it's crossing anyways, and then... Just kind of, well this one's kind of growing in towards the middle, isn't it? Uh, I would maybe... Cut that one off. Yeah, I, and back to the base there. Yeah. So that's sort of thick and then it goes upright. I would take that off because it's growing straight in towards the center of the tree. You want everything fanning outwards, up in the middle, fanning outwards. <gasps> Big cut. There's a whole branch on there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's got something developing there anyways. And then... It's not really... It'd be nice to reduce this back a bit, but you don't have much there. It's really. just that like little bit yeah, of leaf here. Yeah, the little one, and you'd be pruning your berries off. And I don't think there's much point doing that. I would just leave it at that. I, I, I think maybe uh, clear out some of these leaves so you can see more of the trunk line there. Yeah. Just do a little trimming underneath the branch to clean it up a bit. And then I would get rid of these lower hanging these ones hanging too. Ones. They're kind of branches that are pointing downwards again. Would you cut right off on the branch? I would, yeah. yeah. How does that look? Does it look better? Oh yeah, it's way more open now. Oh yeah, you can see that. Like you line. can see that. Yeah. Yeah. And it's a nice trunk line. It's like your ficus. It's got that snaky, ziggy, zaggy trunk line going up there, which looks pretty good. And it's got like this is developing all the way along here. Yeah. Yeah. 
I, yeah, I would just say it needs this this trunk line near here needs to fill in here, and you can develop a little more at the back. Try and keep this height down. Yeah. And that's that should be your goals with this tree. I, I wouldn't, you know, other than seeing the tree defoliated, we might find more stuff branches growing in towards the middle. But right now you can't really see them, and there's no point defoliating it. It would just ruin the tree. So I, I think that's it. I think awesome. It's a good looking tree. Very nice. That's the view to the camera there. Uh, yeah. That's the front there. So you can see that trunk line. Does it look good, Eric? Yeah, I like it. A little more open and yep. little subtle changes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I like it. This is a pretty good front, right where it is that the front? I think. Yeah. Yeah. That's good looking front. Yeah, I, I think it just needs a little less apex dominant and develop more of the branches to create more of a broom style tree. So if I was to round it, I would keep as many of these branches as I can and just kind of take the pointy top off. So... Yep, it's pretty triangular. <laughs> yeah, so I'm looking for a leader that's coming forward slightly. I like this one, which if it was down here would be even better. Or, yeah, there's kind or there's a kind of a group here that maybe that's not really changing the styling a whole lot if we go way up there. Do you risk coming all the way down? You can. Here? There's lots of foliage. It's not going to hurt the tree. But I do, you know, the ideal height is, it is right, right there. there. Yeah. So maybe that's where we take it off. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think. Now, can we keep that back branch? No. Because that will develop as a leader. Yeah, I, I, I think just above this branch. Just above that one, yeah. Yeah. I think that's going to get rid of the pointy top. Bye bye top. Yeah. It's a little cutting if you want. <laughs> it's pretty good. It's just a little mini tree. So that's gone and then these ones they're kind of growing very straight so we want to redirect the apex to a more horizontal branch so in this one I like that this branch one. here yeah so I put them just above there there but it kind of opens this apex up a bit more um, I think we're too long on this one too. I need to go back to maybe we've got a leaf facing forward here and one back here, so I go just above this back one. This back one. Yeah. There's one going up the inside here. I would, I would remove that one there. Yeah, you know, it's just cluttering it up there. You've got a vertical one growing here. I would take off because they're shooting straight up and they don't flow outwards. There's another kind of vertical one here. I would also take that one off just because it, it's one. not flowing outwards. Yeah. Yeah. You can see it's opening the tree up a bit now. Yeah. It looks less cluttered. Um, it's a hot sun. <laughs> I'll get her on, on myself. There's a bit of shade back here. <laughs> I might <laughs> take it. Yeah, I know, it just fries you, doesn't it? You're supposed to mist yourself, Mr. Mister. Yeah. <laughs> I think this branch, you've got to shoot down here. That's better. It's, it's kind of a little high there, do you think? That shoot coming out here? Like yeah, I think there. Ooh. Yeah. Opens it up a bit. Down here we've got, this branch is kind of growing yeah, up into, into this tree. tree, so I think that one's got to come on. And, this. yeah, I think that can come off. Sure. I think the other one's okay, it's, it's going, going up the, going back. the back, it's fine. And this one, it's sort of, if you got rid of that, maybe it's just taking too much off. I don't know. 
It is kind of pointing straight towards that other branch. Isn't it? <laughs> um, Whereas you've got something developing here. Yeah. That's definitely a problem. Um, you could take the tip off for now and leave that back leaf on there. Right. See how it looks. Let's see, come in here. Maybe it'll solve it temporarily. It opens it up a bit. It doesn't look as yeah, it's not now, as cluttered. But again, it's going to grow again, and it, eventually it'll be a problem again. And then take that this vertical inside one off. and vertical. Yeah. yeah. Oh, don't cut off the whole branch. No, don't cut the whole branch off. It's a nice branch. We could just pinch the tip off um, again to get rid of that triangle shape. I just make that top off. Right to here. Yeah. Let's see scissors there. There we go. Trying not to cut the other one. <laughs> and then this one, we've got a shoot fanning out, so I would just take that tip off there. Yeah. And I think that kind of keeps our height in that sort of asymmetrical triangular form a bit, but it's still rounded everything a bit. Should we bring it up? Um, I think this kind of matches the lower, the lower one. it balances it. I'm wondering if we should take that apex down one more. I'm, I got the feeling we should, but maybe am I wrong? Then we got the apex yeah, pointing it's going inwards, inwards, which isn't so good. We have this one that's going vertical here, which is pretty close to vertical, but... Uh, oh difficult. yeah. You could almost do it here, but you'd have to hope that one. Yeah, see what I would do is I would I would take it to here and then I would just take the top off there. So you've just got that one branch. And then it'll it'll smooth out as it grows. It'll go vertical. Okay, so we're taking here. Yeah. You see it down a little bit more there, yeah. And then And then we're gonna take this little guy off. Yeah. Making sure not to prune the one. Don't here. prune the other one. <laughs> and that'll grow as a new beater. I think that looks better. See that? How it's a little more rounded. Right, and, and it'll come up. Yeah, you've got all these branches yeah. that are going to form this crown on it. And these have a little more space now. Um, there's a vertical one here that could go this opposite branches so we could take off this one on the inside there. That leaf and the branch. Yeah. Yeah. This one's not that bad. I would just take the tip off and keep the bud that's with this shoot out the back here. So I prune just above there. Just to clean that area up a bit. Um, on this branch, I would take the tip off and keep this one that's more horizontal. Like all the way to down here? Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, just to kind of redirect it flowing outwards. And even someday, you've got this lower branch. You could even take that whole top off and just develop this out the back. Let me see if that would look better. Hard to say. In the front view, you have a look in the front view, and it's, it's a tough decision, which is 50-50. You can leave it for now, too. It, it doesn't hurt anything. Something you can look yeah, at in the look future. At... It's not hurting anything. Like, it would give it there. some shape, though. Yeah. Here's one here that's going straight up that could be taken off. There's a little shoot at the base of this branch that can be taken off. And I think there's a leaf underneath that branch too. Anything you can do to kind of just it up stop a bit. things from yeah, keep it cleaner and it's looking pretty good. This leaf on the inside here. Uh, I, I don't think that's hurting, is it? I'm know. just asking. Yeah, I, I think it's okay. If there's a little branch growing out there. I think it would look okay. I think I think that's pretty good. Yeah, it looks much 
It's a little more compact. compact. It's got some room yeah, to grow cleaner. again, and it's a little more rounded looking. It's not quite so high and triangular as it looks more like a ficus. <laughs> it definitely looks more like a ficus. So there's the front view for the camera. I think it's softened it up a bit, cleaned it out a bit. I, I think it's no dramatic uh, change, but I, I think it's a positive change. Yeah, seems to be the theme. Emma gets away with the light pruning. <laughs> Eric does <laughs> all the to tough the cuts. Tough. I'll have to pick a tough tree for Emma next. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so here we have a little more difficult tree for Emma. This has got some big cuts on it, probably. So the problem with this tree is that it had opposite branches, bar branches here, and then 90 degrees to that, bar branches here, and then 90 degrees to that, bar branches here, and then we get a bit of a crown. So we've got to fix that. We don't want these arms sticking <laughs> out each side. Uh, so it's already been corrected on the lowest one. The branch at the back has been removed. So we could take that a little more flush. Yeah. Clean that off a little more flush for starters. And then if we go up to the next one, um, so we should probably pick the front of the tree as a, as a, <laughs> to start off with. That's hard. So I would look for the thickest trunk line that goes up. So you're going up straight. It divides into two major yeah. branches here, and this one is definitely the thicker one, right? Definitely, yes. So that's got to come forward. Yeah. And again, we don't want the Y horizontal face on we want it tilted so the thicker yeah. ones more forward towards you so let's we have I some got, markers. I got my marker okay here. you got mark so this is a possible front where we've got the Y turn so the thicker ones coming forward mm -hmm. or or my view where it's still coming forward but so we're looking in at the two angles that so what will determine which angle is better is you want to look at the angle where you're going to cut off the least amount of branches. <laughs> and let me see. So here we've got, it comes up and there's a good leader coming forward here for your apex. Here, a weaker one is the apex. So just right. based on that, it's this is stronger. So I would say yep. this is the logical choice for the front based purely on that trunk line. I would even, even go right there. Like that. I kind of see the main trunk line. Yep. Okay, so. So here, I would say, out of these two branches and the next bar branches, I, this is the one I would take off and yeah. keep the one at the and back at because the back. then you've got this one coming up here. So you don't need as much weight on this side of the tree. Do, do you agree with that? Or? Yeah, like that's instantly what I thought. This okay. one has to come off. Okay, so right back to the trunk. Yep. All right. Big cut, <laughs> coming up. Yeah, there you go, <laughs> just like that. Now, how does that look? Now, you see, you don't even miss it, do you? No. It, it looks much nicer and more open. So let's... Uh, so that's taking care of that. Now we're coming up to here. We've got another couple of bar branches. So again, have a look at that and see which one, if you had to prune one of those off, which one would you prune off and why? Oh, I'm learning now. And maybe they're equally as good. Maybe you can't decide. My gut is telling me to take off the front one because of the flow I see. with this apex, like the one that we've picked up here. I, I think because we've kept this one, yeah. this one would be directly above it, so it would make sense to have this one branch, and that one, and then up here. Yeah. So logically, I would say that one is the one to come off, and it also crouch it, it makes it crowded with this other yeah, trunk like back it's there. So that, that, I agree. I, I think that is the... Well, let's get rid of it. That's the logical choice to take it off. Oh, Untangle. Oh. 
Oh How does it look? Oh, it's much better. Is it? It's like just like... Yeah. It's looking good, isn't it? It almost has life to it now. Yeah. Okay, so now we're coming up this trunk line and we've got, again, two bar branches. So you got to pick your pick the one you want to keep. So well, have a look at it and I think the front one because of the way that we've okay. kept okay, going. The only problem with keeping this one is that it's almost oh, it's parallel to with this your back other trunk one. line. It yeah. sort of makes it crowded in that section. Yeah. Whereas um, you have, if you take this one, you've got something here anyways developing. Yeah. Now it is possible to remove both of them too. <laughs> you don't have to keep that junction there. Um, I, I think definitely this one coming up the front is just too close. To that it, one. it makes it too crowded in this section. Yeah. So I would take that off first and then we'll decide about the other one. Does that look a little better? Or no change here? Yeah, like not I don't too really much. notice not anything. Significant, eh? Yeah, no, it's not not a big deal. Let's keep this back one for now. So then we're coming up and we've got another couple of bar branches here. Of course. <laughs> this is now the bar branch. <laughs> I know, it's just... And on this one, this is a tough choice. This is really, really... Uh, if I look at the front, I like having something out the front of the tree. It's kind of nice. Um, I like the trunk line coming up to the apex here. I don't know if we need this. This one runs parallel to the, again to that trunk back there. If right. you see it from the front view there. Yeah, and so it's not really doing anything. I, I don't think it's. I mean, it's a cool branch, but I think that would be the one to take out. And it's, again, it's growing in towards the center of the tree. How's that look? Does it look any that's better? much? Yeah. Is it? Yeah, I think that opens that up nicely, it just, doesn't it? Yeah getting a bit of a crown there. You actually have like a yeah. finish point now. Yeah. And um, we're not done with the bar branches yet. So there are many. <laughs> we're coming up here. So we've got three branches going from one spot here. So now we've got to pick our our best branches and get rid of the, the worst one. And to me, I think you could just get rid of the one in the middle and keep the one at the back and the two out the front. Have a look at, do you, do you agree with that? That it, I think with yeah, three branches two, is too crowded and crowded. I wouldn't miss seeing that one. No. This one I'd miss and this one definitely. So I would take yeah, out that middle one. Yeah, you need Are you Eric. excited, Eric? Eric's like cheering in He's the background. Going, no, no, not that know. one. <laughs> Here's the front, Eric. It looks like a tree now instead of just uh, it, a weird... Right? It's just... It, wow. You don't miss the bar branches at all, no, do you? No, it looks like a different plant. Yeah. It's still, pretty, it's still pretty solid in here, but it at least is starting to get yeah. some movement in it. Yeah. Because it, oh, it, really it really had awesome. no movement in it whatsoever. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's... Okay, we're not done yet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's a branch sticking straight up from here I would remove just oh, because yeah. you got some other branching and again it's a bar branch of course. <laughs> there's a dead one here, let's break that away. Uh, there was another one sticking up here, there was a stub there, we could take that right off. Yeah. And let's see now. So I'm coming up the other trunk line here now, yeah. and we've got these two. Now, if it were me, this back one looks crowded towards the other trunk. I wouldn't miss it so much as if I took the other one if, off. If you take that one, now the only thing is that then I would maybe prune that one because they're kind of following each other. Right. I see, yeah, the one's parallel to the other one. This might be the case where we remove both of them. 
I would you keep this one? Like you would still oh. keep this? Because I almost think if you removed that, you could keep this top one. Oh, I see. Because you've got a branch. No, I, I was thinking, here. see these two branches from the front? This one's directly in front of the branch behind it. Yeah, okay. So I was thinking, remove this one and remove this one. Yeah, okay. And that way... Uh, that, you're right. Because I don't like this one between... It's running parallel to got, this trunk line. And you've line, got this in the... And it's kind of crowding that anyways. area. And this one isn't really... It doesn't have any movement to it anyways. And it's not really doing much. Yes. Yeah. Alright. I would take both off. I think that's what Let's get rid of bar branches as much so, as possible. We're going to take that one, yeah. And then this one out the back here. Big change. Big change for this tree. Whew. Let's, how does it look? <laughs> it's not the same tree at all. Look at it. Is it better or? Yes. <laughs> Automatically. Okay. Well, okay. everything. Yeah, that's good to hear. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, yeah, that's, you can see, so we need to cut this apex down. Yeah. Um, I would just take it off to here. Keeping, this leaf? Yeah, keeping two leaves on it there. It's just a little high, isn't it? And. Well, that's, that, yeah, even that just. Yeah, it kind of, there's the front, it kind of rounds it, doesn't it? Now, are it like these yeah, two? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Um, and this one is growing kind of straight up, so is yeah. this one. This one I'm not so bothered with, but definitely that one going straight up, I would yeah. take that off. It's just, it's just not in the right place. And then, I would shorten this vertical one. Keep Down it to that shorten first it. Lift yeah. Leaf. Yeah. Shorten that. Oh and God. then And then I think the one coming out the back here could be shortened just a bit. So maybe put those two horizontal just before yeah. those two horizontal leaves. I think we're getting pretty close now. <laughs> Have a look from the front. Is there anything? These are a little awkward still. Um, but I would let them gain some vigor and then prune them back and try and develop something, something better looking develop, than, yeah. the, than the kind of wine. No, this is looking much better. I think we solved a lot of the Well, we got rid of all the bar branches. Basic problems so with it. And let's see what it does next. And it still looks like a tree. It's yeah. Not, yeah. Yeah, I, I think that's it for this tree. Is that dead wood we can just prune off? Yeah, so there, there it is. Big changes. We're gonna leave it at that. It still looks kind of similar, doesn't it? Yeah. It's just not as bar branchy. <laughs> it looks. It's got got awesome. a bit of style to it, I think. It's yeah. We, we, these branches need fixing. We thought was to leave them get stronger and then hard prune them back and try and get something that is maybe better or maybe even cut it off someday. It's a future decision. You notice this lowest branch has no variegation yep. in it. That's interesting, isn't it? <laughs> These so ones cut, don't really just either. Cut things off when and then have, uh, this one is basically an albino branch. It has yeah. no chlorophyll at all. And Connor, he's found he has one a variegated one, and he finds the ones that don't have any green on don't grow at all. They come out with white leaves, and they just stay stagnant. And uh, yeah, and he has the same thing. He's some branches that are green and yeah it's funny plants like a lot of these variegated plants some branches revert back to the green and yeah. some will go white and there's all these variations that come out and yeah you just keep working with what you get all right that's that one cool it's looking all right eh? It was nice to have Eric and Emma down working on bonsai all day. I had a lot of fun. And that's all for today. I'm Nigel Saunders. Thanks for joining me in the Bonsai Zone.